Hello and welcome to another episode of the Cryptic Analyst Show, your place to deep dive into the world of business strategy and analysis. And as always, I'm excited to bring you another episode packed with actionable insights and practical tips. Today, I'm talking about the importance of value proposition research, a topic that I think every business owner, marketer, and entrepreneur needs to understand. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Value proposition research, really? The topic sounds so dry and boring. But hang on, trust me, this is anything but dry and boring. In fact, understanding and crafting a strong value proposition is one of the most crucial element of any successful business. So if you want to take your business to the next level, make sure to stick around till the end of the episode. So let's get started. A value proposition is essentially a clear, concise statement that explains the unique value and benefits that your product or service provides to your customers. It's a key element of any successful business as it helps to differentiate your offering from the competition and convince potential customers to choose you over the alternatives. For example, let's say you own a landscaping company that offers lawn maintenance services. Your value proposition might be something like, we provide top quality lawn care services at an affordable price with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. This value proposition clearly explains the unique value and benefits of your service, which is high quality at a competitive price, with a guarantee to back it up. Now let's say a potential customer is considering hiring a landscaping company for their lawn maintenance needs. They might be deciding between your company and another company that offers similar services. By having a clear and concise value proposition that outlines the unique value and benefits of your services, you are more likely to convince the potential customer to choose your company over the competition. So as you can see, a value proposition is a crucial element of any successful business. It helps you stand out from the competition and convince potential customers to choose you. Now you might be wondering how to go about researching and creating a value proposition. Well, the first step is to understand your target audience. Who are they? What are their needs and pain points? And how can your product or service help solve their problems? Understanding your target audience is an important step in researching and crafting a strong value proposition. By understanding your target audience, you can better tailor your value proposition to meet their needs and address their pain points. For example, let's say you own a software company that offers project management tools for small businesses. Your target audience might be small business owners and entrepreneurs who are looking for a way to streamline and organize their workflows. To understand your target audience, you might conduct market research to gather information about their needs, pain points, and demographics. You might also gather feedback from current customers to get a better understanding of what they value in a project management tool. With this information in hand, you can start to craft a value proposition that speaks directly to your target audience. For example, in this scenario, your value proposition might be something like, our project management tool helps small businesses streamline their workflows and increase productivity saving them time and money. This value proposition clearly addresses the needs and pain point of small business owners and explain how your product can help solve their problems. So by understanding your target audience, you can craft a value proposition that resonates with them and demonstrates the unique value and benefits of your product or services. Next, it's important to research your competition and see how they position themselves in the market. What unique value do they offer? What are their strengths and weaknesses? Researching your competition is an important step in creating a strong value proposition. By understanding how your competition position themselves in the market, you can better differentiate your own offering and identify areas where you can offer unique value to your target audience. For example, let's say you own a clothing store that sells high-end designer fashion. Your competition might include other high-end designer clothing stores as well as fast fashion retailers like H&M and Zara. To research your competition, you might take a number of steps such as First, analyze their websites and marketing materials to see how they position themselves in the market. Second, check out their social media presence to get a sense of their brand personality and customer base. Third, you can also compare prices and product offerings to see how they compare to your own. And lastly, read customer reviews and ratings to identify their strengths and weaknesses. With this information in hand, you can start to craft a value proposition that sets you apart from your competition. For example, your value proposition might be something like, we offer exclusive high-end designer fashion at competitive prices with personalized styling services to help you find the perfect look. 
This value proposition highlights the unique value and benefits of your store, which is exclusive designer fashion at competitive prices with personalized services to help customers find the perfect look. So you see, by researching your competition, you can identify areas where you can offer unique value and craft a value proposition that sets you apart from the competition. By understanding both your audience and your competition, you can start to craft a value proposition that speaks directly to your target customers and sets you apart from the competition. Now, the tough part. Crafting a strong value proposition isn't always easy. It takes time, research and often requires testing and iterations to get it right. This is because a value proposition is a crucial element of any successful business and it's important to get it right. For example, let's say you own a beauty salon that offers a wide range of services from haircuts and styling to facial and massage. You might start by trying to craft a value proposition that encompasses all of your services like we offer top quality beauty services at affordable prices. However, after conducting marketing research and gathering feedback from customers, you might find that this value proposition isn't quite right. Some customers might value the affordable prices, while others might be more interested in the high quality services. Some customers might be looking for a full service salon, while others might be more interested in a specific services like massage or facials. In this case, you might need to do some additional research and testing to refine your value proposition. You might consider conducting focus groups or surveys to gather more specific feedback on what your target customer value. You might also try testing different versions of your value proposition to see which one resonates more with your target audience. For example, you might test different value propositions. Something like, our team of experienced stylists will help you find the perfect haircut at an affordable price. Or something like, relax and rejuvenate with our high quality massage and facials at competitive prices. So by testing different value propositions, you can get a better understanding of what your target customers value and craft a value proposition that speaks directly to the need and pain points. So as you can see, crafting a strong value proposition takes time, research and often requires testing and iterations to get it right. But the payoff is well worth it. A well-crafted value proposition can mean the difference between a struggling business and a thriving one. So if you are a business owner, marketer or entrepreneur, I highly recommend taking the time to understand and craft a strong value proposition. A value proposition is a crucial element of any successful business as it helps to differentiate your offering from the competition and convince potential customers to choose you over your competitor. Let me give you another example. Let's say you own a consulting firm that helps small businesses with marketing strategy. Without a strong value proposition, it might be difficult for you to stand out from the crowd and convince potential clients to choose you. On the other hand, if you take the time to understand your target audience and your competition and craft a value proposition that speaks directly to your target customers and sets you apart from the competition, you will be much more likely to succeed. In this case, your value proposition might be something like, we help small businesses grow and succeed by providing customized marketing strategies that drive results. Our team of experienced consultants has a track record of success and is dedicated to helping our clients achieve their goals. You see, this value proposition clearly explains the unique value and benefit of your consulting firm. Customized marketing strategies that drive results from the team of experienced consultant with a track record of success. By taking the time to understand and craft a strong value proposition, you will be better positioned to succeed in your business and stand out from the competition. It's a crucial investment that will pay off in the long run. That's all for this week's episode of The Cryptic Analyst. I hope you found this information on the importance of value proposition research helpful. If you are a business owner, marketer or entrepreneur looking to grow and succeed, understanding and crafting a strong value proposition is a crucial step. So take your time to research your target audience and competition and craft a value proposition that speaks directly to your customers and sets you apart from the competition. If you enjoyed this episode and want to learn more about business strategy and analysis, be sure to subscribe to The Cryptic Analyst Show and don't forget to follow me on social media for even more valuable insights and tips. Thanks for listening and I will see you in another episode of The Cryptic Analyst.